Hello there, Taylor with the multi Power Report. Taking a look today at cyclones and potential U.S. severe thunderstorm weather. Actually, I should use the word likely U.S. severe thunderstorm weather. So we've got severe tropical storm Guito out here. Here's a satellite loop. Now, unfortunately, I do not have land hazard data on this storm. However, you can make a guess based on cloud cover that there's probably going to be some rains over here. Some rains over here. There could also be some gusty winds and possibly rough seas out here. And this thing actually is predicted to strengthen into the equivalent of a Category 1 hurricane. So at that point, I do believe it would be Cyclone Guito. So that is that storm. And then there are these two areas of interest over here. Per the JTWC, low chance on that one. And per Fiji, low chance on that one. So that is what is happening in the land of tropical cyclones. Here's the land of U.S. severe thunderstorm weather for the next few days, basically. So this starts when it starts over here. So here's your threat area today. And we'll take a look at the individual maps. And then it shapes into this huge QLCS, believe it is, quasi-linear convective system. And then you'll understand why so many states are affected but just by looking at that when we take a look at the map. So let's look at the maps. So today, the big threat apparently is hail. This is the hail map showing the probability of one inch or larger hail. This is the map showing the probability of 58 mile per hour and greater winds. And luckily, tornado is not a huge threat today. Less than 2% all areas tomorrow. Not only is it a 30% chance, so this red area is where there's the highest probability, but in this black hatched area is where there is the possibility for significant severe weather. So I'm going to make a guess that it's possibly going to be significant winds. So instead of just 58 mile power and greater winds, it'd be 75 mile power and greater winds. But what the black hatch there could also represent is instead of one inch or larger hail, two inch or larger hail, instead of a tornado of any size, tornadoes of EF2 or greater intensity on a scale that goes from EF0 to EF5. So that is tomorrow. And then day three moves on to the coastal areas. So, but at the moment, at least, there is no significant black hatched area. So that is at least something good. And then days four through eight tapers off to potential to low where there's nothing going on. So again, to take a look. So this is where it's starting out. And then it becomes this big Boeing segment affecting a whole bunch of states. So definitely going to probably get some rains with that at the very least. But, you know, might also get some hail, might get some wind. So definitely something to pay attention to. And of course, you know, just just throw this out there, but when you have something that big, if there is any kind of severe wind event, you can lose power for days and days because a lot of times a whole bunch of people end up being affected by a power loss, which of course makes it difficult to get the power back on. So that is what is happening in the land of US severe thunderstorm weather right now. So, severewethertv.com is the official homepage of the screencast. Wickwix is W I C K E D W X dot com. My future radar is myfutureradar.com. And cyclocane is C Y C L O C A N E dot com. And that is it for today. And hopefully, you're staying safe out there.